The area of digital evidence has become a tremendous realm for the criminal to exploit, but is also a repository for evidence that law enforcement needs to be able to prove our cases. And I think that is an ongoing process, almost on a daily basis, that technology moves forward. And we have to be able to accept those changes and, and move along with those. So my name is Stephen Foster. I'm the special agent in charge for the Georgia Cyber Crime Center. What we do here is communicate with state, local, and federal law enforcement agencies that are in Georgia to examine and analyze different types of digital evidence relating to their ongoing investigations. So a lot of what we find are the missing pieces in a case. It's the motivation behind the crime or the pieces that led up to a crime. We see cell phones in every crime type. We see it in homicides, we see it in drug cases, we see it in fraud cases. We're seeing it across the board. Everybody has a cell phone. So the first thing my sworn agents, my detectives are looking for is what is on that cell phone. We are motivated to provide evidence that is critical to these investigations so people are held accountable for what they do. Without digital forensics, it's hard to prove a lot of these cases nowadays. So Celebrite, for example, allows us to see if we can get into those devices if they're locked. So really it's access, it's pulling the data, and then create reports that look like something you might see on your cell phone. It looks like an iMessage, or it looks like a message on an Android device. So for anyone that's sitting in a jury box, they can see their cell phone on a screen that we may be presenting. It's easier for them to recognize and to understand like a phone call they make or a text message they send or a video that they may take. The Ahmaud Aubrey case was a case in southeast Georgia that involved a gentleman who was jogging through a neighborhood, was stopped by three men and one of the men presented a shotgun. There was an altercation between Ahmaud Aubrey and, and that person and the shotgun was fired, striking Ahmaud Aubrey and killing him. The GBI Cybercrime Center uh, brought in 41 different items of digital evidence to analyze. We had computers, we had tablets, we had flash drives. You can never go in with a preconceived notion of this is what I'm going to find or this is where I'm going to find it. Then you miss the other pieces. In this case, it happened to be in places we weren't expecting. Turns out one of the key videos was actually on a flash drive. We went through a multitude of digital devices using the technologies that were here. And several of the devices that our computer scientists here were able to identify uh, were very useful in obtaining the convictions in that case. We have a great partnership with Celebrite. I would say that anytime we need something from our Celebrite partners and salespeople and product support specialists, they're there to answer the phone. They're one of the best partners and vendors in the industry. And there's a reason for that, because they listen to their customers, but they also truly want to make a difference for law enforcement agencies in the cases that we are investigating. In dealing with digital technology and the challenges behind ever-changing software is that this evidence changes daily. And we have to be able to uh, adapt with it to be able to find the evidence that may be present in these devices even though there was an update the day before, even though there is a new version of the software that just came out, even though this is a new device that just hit the market. It may be collecting evidence that may be relevant in one of our criminal cases and we have to have the, the ability to locate and collect that evidence. Uh, we, we owe it to the people who are victims in our cases. Celebrate. Digital intelligence for a safer world.